Syria's war is a mess. After four years, the conflict is divided between four different sides on the ground. Each side has different foreign backers, and those foreign backers don't even agree with one another about who they're fighting for or who they're fighting against. To understand all this, the crisscrossing interventions, the moving battle lines, it helps to go back to the beginning of the war and watch how it unfolded. In a battle for a city this big, progress isn't always easy to map. After five weeks of fighting, much of Mosul has still to be retaken. Below, in miniature, the war plays out. In Mosul streets, life or death is decided in the blink of an eye. Just metres away, the so-called Islamic State. In no man's land, a dead body. Iraqi special forces say he was an IS fighter, one of a dozen they've shot dead this week. Yes, many civilians have been attacked by Islamic State snipers, but they also use them as human shields. It's very difficult for us. They sometimes come forward carrying babies, using them as cover. Nearby, a car bomb detonates. The only safe way past this front line is through walls, homes and backyards. We're right at the very edge here. The Islamic State are 200 metres in that direction. And look over here. You can see children running, children playing. People are living 20 metres away from here. Yesterday there was a car bomb. No military were injured, just civilians. This war is happening on people's doorsteps. So despite the war, the government has asked people to stay. But still suspicion runs high here. Five days of fighting means Amar Jazan and his family haven't left their house. But his wife Rana is about to give birth. I lost a baby in these circumstances. I lost the baby because the doctors were not available. I don't know how I'm coping, but I pray it will get better. For three-year-old Azel, it will be her first time leaving Mosul. The government wants people to remain here, but it and its services are mostly absent. So today it's an armoured Humvee that serves as an ambulance. <laughs> Safar Kallis' father watches in disbelief. His son has just been shot in the chest. An IS sniper's bullet, say his brothers. They'd left their house only a few minutes ago to sell eggs. Nothing can be done. He's gone? Hey, my brother. How are you? 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 How كيفك متل عودة؟ أبوس روحك. إيه حبي. الله يرحمه. إيه فهوني شايفين. بيان على الكاميرا. هوني هذا الحد الفاصل بيننا وبين الإرهابي. وهي الشغل الشايفين الطويلة. ساتر. وين أ؟ ساتر مشان القناص. القناص اللي بده يتعامل مع هدول الاهالي شفتوا ايه هدول الاهالي اللي نحن على اساس ما نخرب ونموت نحن كل ما في الامر بنطهر المنطقه مشان يرجعوا يعيشوا فيها مو مثل ما انتم بتدعوا نحن الجيش العربي السوري حبيباتي ها هلا بده ينط واحد يقول والله دمرت وسويت وخربت يعني شيء طبيعي بحاله الحرب وقت بده يجي الارهاب يتمركز ببيت مدني او يتعظم هذا الشيء يصير خارج عن السيطره 
بدها تهز الاهالي شيء اكيد يعني بدنا نجي نحن الجيش والجيش بده يتقدم اجباري بالمدرع بالنسبه للقناصين يعني اذا ضلت زيت عساكر من اليوم لبكره بدهم يضلوا ينقنصوا فبدك تضطر ترمي او انه رمي مدفعي او يلي هو بس كل ما في الامر بتكون الاهالي هي اللي ما تشوفوها الا راجع بيوتها وعايشه بامان امم بتكون هي الاهالي طلعت نجي نحن منطهر شو بيطلع بقى بايده الواحد اكثر من هيك وهي ليك انا العسكر اللي على اساس ما اقتل المدنيين ليك ماشيين بيناتي اللي بتقولوا الجيش ما يقتل ويضري فلذلك المراهنة على مصداقية الجيش العربي السوري صارت شيء مستحيل كذب كان بيع هاي حلاوة هاي الأهالي المدني شوفت عينك بدك تفهم وقت الجيش العربي السوري إنه بيقسم قسم على حماية الدولة اللي عايش فيها بكل قد قسم Who are the who are involved and who are the supporters? But it's not clear after all. For example, the U.S. is, is supporting um, the rebels, but uh, it's not doing anything for the ISIS. Not fighting, not um, not um, supporting, as the video said. But it, she's not fighting it, fighting it, but um, maybe because it's supporting it. But that's not clear from people. For us, and for me, it's not clear what is the, the cause of this. Like, we don't know what do they want from Syria, why are they fighting Syria, and the president, and like, like that, and why are they killing people. Like, that's what we, I don't understand, and some people, like a lot of people don't understand. Like, why is that happening? Uh, the videos were good. But uh, the parts where people are speaking in Arabic, um, some like the translation, the subtitles, were not really true. Uh, some was a, they were skipping some some sentences they were saying, which like it's not good because that means they are like lying to people, and it's like they don't put what is what is actually saying, and like the true things. When I came here, I was so scared and nervous because I was, uh, especially from school, I was so nervous from school and I did not really have a lot of friends in my first year of school. I had a lot of friends in Syria, I was like so good at school and I had like high marks and like that, but here I was so scared that I'm not gonna uh, achieve that here too, but now I feel proud of myself that I did what I wanted to do. Videos. It's heartbreaking to see that people are going through that kind of violence and trauma. Some of them can't talk the same way. Does it make a difference to me? Like, honestly, it doesn't really matter. I mean, they're coming from trauma and a heartbreaking background, so it's kind of like understandable.